so bad, so real, it's on wheels, I was born to flex, diamonds, the sin that do poof, I got a fly, I need a check, I need room for my legs, I got a baby, I need some money, money, all I really wanna see is the money, I don't really need to be any the back with another video, back, back with another video, hey, what's up? What's going on? Coming at you real quick with another video. Okay, so today I'm not going outside. I'm not doing anything extra. I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to try to hurry up and get it out there to you and wrap it on up. Okay, so I hope y'all been enjoying these Vlogmas video because it's Vlogmas day number six. We almost at our first week of Vlogmas. Almost, almost, almost. Um, today I want to talk to you about how you know that you found the right consultant. How do you know if it's the right person to go with? How do you know that you can trust this person with your money and your hair? Okay, there's a few steps that you should take to make sure that you found the right person. This side is looking cray cray. This side is getting longer or something because it's just not behaving. Okay, but um, so after you have searched your website, social life and loving it, or no. What I'm talking about. After you have searched your website, sisterlocks.com, or you have been referred to a consultant or trainee by someone who has had their social locks established already. A friend, a family, a stranger that you seen walking down the street, and he was like, "Girl, stop! Who did your sister box?" When you get that, that that to me, that's the best way to go. But if you can't do that, if you can't get a referral, go on sisterlocks.com, look up your area, look up under find a consultant, find a trainee. There's two different pages. One is set for all consultants, and one is set for all trainees. And then there is a list of cities and states. Um, and you can look up your area or somewhere that's closer to you so you're not traveling too far. Okay. I got something in my eye. Okay, so um, I'm trying not to edit. Um, this is why I have to edit because I can't get myself together. Just drink some tea and get it back together. Hold on, hold on. It's hot. Piping. Hmm. It's actually perfect. Um, so you go on a website, you look in your area, you call a few people. Okay, go with someone that you get a good vibe from. Like if someone is like trying to rush you off the phone, no, no. If someone is doing anything besides making you feel like your conversation at this point and at this time is very important, then call another person. Once you get on the phone with someone that you can vibe with, that you talk to, you're like, sus, where are you located? You need to ask that person for pictures. If they can't send you pictures or send you an Instagram information, Facebook information, and they need you to go in, if you are able to, then go in, okay, and look at their picture. But make sure you get pictures before you do anything else. The pictures is very important, okay? And can determine if that's the right person for you. So you got your pictures. They was nice, as, nice on the phone, sweet as pie. And um, they gave you some information and told you things about their background. Because you want to get some background information on them. How long they've been doing sister locks. Are they new to the game? Are they OG? Um, how many heads they got above you or on them? What's their head count? What's their head count? How many people you done locked up? Okay, so once you get all that background information on the person that you have chosen, and it all adds up, it all seemed right, the vibe is there, then you make that consultation. Okay, another way to find out that you have a good consultant, the person should be tell, talking to you about how much time at the consultation, because that's one step to get in the door. You know, conversation got to be right, vibes got to be right, and your work better be A1 for sure, okay? So they did all that. They passed all them check, check, check. They passed all them, all those check marks. So now you meeting them. 
okay, you want to, before you get to the consultation, you get the address to the place that, that you're going to be. Um, get the address to the location of where your consultant is going to be establishing your locks, okay? When you get that address, I will do a pre-visit. Nobody ever talk about this, but you either go right around, see where they're located, so you can see how far that they are from you. If you're capable of doing this, like I couldn't do that because I live an hour and 45 minutes from my consultant. But what I did do is got there a little early so I can peep, you know, her surroundings. I want to see where you at. Am I safe? Am I going to get robbed? Stab, shot, I don't know. So make sure that you do like a drive-by and ride around that area check it out and make sure that it is somewhere that you feel comfortable and safe okay all right so you did your drive-by and you know what i'm saying a day before a few minutes before whatever um you did talk to two or three consultants though you did not just go on to one person you want to at least two consultations today okay so you want to two so you can be able to compare and compare each person and their abilities to make sure that you choose the right one, okay? So you get to the consultation, they on time, they're, they're answering your questions well, they give you the price, they touch your hair, they give you some test locks, they tell you how to care for them test locks, um, they tell you approximately, approximately it's going to take this much time, you just want to learn the diameter of your hair and the possibility of your blah, 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 blah. all these fancy words they're going to say. I'm just playing. They probably ain't gonna say nothing like that. So don't listen to that. But they're gonna touch your hair. They're gonna look at your texture. They're gonna look at the um, density of your hair. And they're gonna give you a price based on those things, right? Okay. So you compare the way that they treat you, the vibe that you get. Um, you compare the price. You compare, compare the location and the environment. The cleanliness of the location, um, of the consultant, and the honesty of your consultant, and the patience of your consultant answering your question. If you got a million and one questions and she ain't getting no attitude about you asking a million and two questions, then another check, okay? But at your consultation, don't ask too much questions. Save some of them. But just make sure that you get those questions answered. And if she's answering them correctly... Also, if before you even ask a question, she just start throwing all this information at you and she start answering your question before you even answer it, check. Like, you know what I'm saying? That is another sign that she is going to be a good consultant or he is going to be a good consultant. Um, the consultant should also talk to you about products that you should use or not use on your hair. Um, braiding and banding. Um, different type of ways to care for your locks during the day at night all these different questions that you should have your consultant should probably like you know tell you these things before you ask and if that person is giving you tips giving you tricks making sure that you're set those you with things that you should bring she give you a receipt from any payments that you made before um during your consultation if you made a deposit or anything like that or after your installation, you receive a receipt. Um, those are just professional practices that I see that I think that shows you that your consultant is a step above other consultants, okay, or training. Um, they make sure that they check on you before you come in for your installation just to make sure you're prepared, tell you how to prepare your hair for your installation whatever you should bring, how much money you should bring, any questions that you have, how are your test locks doing, um, how are you doing, whatever. They just check up on you in between your visits. Um, they make sure that your first retirement is included and that price that you pay for your installation. They're just always trying to do something to make you feel better. Giving you water, um, asking if you want a magazine, just being courteous. If a person is courteous, professional, um, on time, clean, um, care about you and your hair, gentle with your hair, um, has good work, and just an overall good person and give you good vibes, then that is the consultant for you. If it's not any of those things, if it's a couple things that are off and a couple things 
if the good outweighs the bad, then it could still be a good consultant. No one's perfect. So make sure that you find the one that's perfect for you and your hair. And if you're not satisfied, then just hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Okay, well, bye. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video.